What's up guys, it's Suraj from Tech Devoted and this is the Apple iPod Classic. Some of you may own one while some others may have never even heard about it. So let me give you some background. Apple first introduced this iPod way back in October of 2001 with the slogan 1000 songs in your pocket. It was received very well by people so Apple went ahead and started it rating it to come out with better iPods. They came out with 6 generations before it was permanently discontinued. This right here is the 6th generation iPod Classic in matte black. So if you're thinking matte black was introduced with the launch of the iPhone 7, you are wrong. Anyway, we bought this for around 14,000 Indian rupees in 2007 and man, even by today's standards, is that expensive for a music player. I could rant about the price all day but let's just sway away from it and talk about the design for a bit. In a word, it's classic. The name perfectly describes it. The rectangular shape with curved edges, the black finish and finally the fairly small form factor all together make for a really classy look. Thanks to the metal it feels really robust and the back even reflects. The bottom line is the iPod from every angle screams premium and it's hard to believe this was designed in 2007. It totally fits in with today's standards and I guess that's all thanks to Steve. Now the unique selling point of this device is the fact that it came with 80GB of storage. Yeah, 80GB. There was even a 160GB variant but that seemed a bit overkill hence we have the 80GB one. According to Apple, you can store up to 40,000 songs in 200 hours of video on this. Another really unique thing about this iPod is how you navigate. It has a very satisfying click wheel that makes navigation a piece of cake. It's ingenious. Sure, it can get annoying at times, but for the most part, it works. Now this iPod even has a display. That might seem normal today, but we're talking 2007 and this is a music player, not even a phone. With a resolution of 320x240, it does have a potato display, but it gets the job done. Oh, and you can even game on this. Needless to say, the games are not comparable to what we have today, but if you ever feel alone, it is there. So the iPod Classic is a really cool music player and probably the best iPod Apple has ever created, but they discontinued it in 2014 and I can see why they did that. Times were changing and with smartphones becoming capable of doing multiple things, people just had their entire music library on their phone. The iPod lacked Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and although it makes sense for a music player to not have any of those features, it's the era of social media and I don't know about you but I personally wouldn't like to carry separate devices for listening to music and doing other daily tasks such as checking Twitter and Facebook. And that's a part of the reason why even my iPod's music library hasn't been updated in ages. It's just always in the corner, all by its own, collecting dust. But then again, this thing is timeless and I don't see myself selling it anytime soon. What do you think of the classic? Do you own one? Would you buy one if it were available today? I'd love to hear your thoughts. It's been Suraj. Thanks so much for watching. Take it easy and stay devoted.